Hi, it's Zoe here, your social media go-to girl, and I've been getting a lot of questions recently on groups on your Facebook profile, and specifically looking at the email notifications you're getting from those groups. With the advent of the new groups and your Facebook profile, it has become a very valuable way to keep in touch with a certain network of people. You can have open, you can have closed groups, and we're on my homepage here. If you have a look over the left-hand side here, I'm a member of a number of groups. But if I was receiving email notifications every time somebody does something in one of these groups, then I would be getting dozens. In fact, I would be getting hundreds of notifications to my email box every single day. So there's a couple of ways you can stop that happening or you can filter the notifications that are coming to your email box. When you're looking at changing anything to do with the settings of privacies and notifications, who sees what on your Facebook profile, it's always found up here in the top right hand corner under account. If you left click on that, in this case we're going to go into your account settings. And this shows you all of the broad specifications on how your profile is set up and how it's accessed. Specifically we're going into the notifications tab at the top here. And you'll see that this talks about notifications to your email address and via SMS for all of the settings on Facebook. If you scroll down a little bit, there's when um, when Facebook sends you a message, how you want to deal with it when photos, if you're tagged in a photo, do you want an email sent out? And you can tick and untick these for yes, I do want to know when I'm tagged in a photo or no, I don't. Someone comments on me. You can see I have very few ticks here except for when the pages come up because I do actually want to be notified when changes are being made to pages where I'm an admin. You'll see in groups, however, the only thing that I have ticked is when someone makes you a group admin or asks to join a group that you admin. And that's because if, if they're asking me to be an administrator of the group, there should be a good reason for that. If I'm an administrator of a group, and someone asked to be added, then I may need to allow that to happen if it's a closed or secret group. So it's important that I do get those notifications, but I don't really want to know every time somebody adds me to a group, um, requests me to change a group or changes the name or things like that. You'll notice here it says change email settings for individual groups. If you left click on that one, a box will come up with all of the individual groups that you're a member on, and you can decide if you want to be sent email notifications at all for those groups and you simply go down and tick the ones that you do want to receive notifications from and make sure you've unticked the ones that you do not want to receive email notifications from and click the save settings. In some cases however you do want to receive notifications but only certain ones so if you want to go down to a more granular level and just receive some notifications when specific actions are performed within those groups then you need to change your settings within the individual group itself. So to get there go back to your home page and you'll notice if you hover over these groups a little X will appear on the side so if you want to actually hide that from your home page you can click on the X it will go away but these are the more active groups I mean and you can see here there's notifications and things happening so even without my email notifications I know when things have been posted to these accounts and I should tick in and go and have a look at those okay so let's have a look here's a Queensland business one and we've got a fundraiser on tomorrow, this one's showing off. You can see up in the top right hand corner here, it actually says edit settings. If you left click that, it will open up a new box and it gives you some very specific actions in regards to the notifications. So it says notify me when, and there's a pull down arrow here, and you can say when a member posts or comment, a member posts a friend, only posts I've actually subscribed to, and you can decide and go through each of these individually if you want to receive email notifications and you can also change it in the notification settings. The other thing too is show this group in home navigation. That's talking about the home navigation page here. And if you want that sometimes, always, because um, I want to make sure it's always here, but also send me group chat messages is do you want the group chat always in your stream? And I've gotten rid of a lot of that clutter, even though this is a very active group that I do participate in a lot and Actually, that's the reason why I've changed and taken all the email notifications off that group. There's some 150 members of this group and if I was to allow those to keep going, I would be getting you know, 100 or 200 notifications possibly a day on the single group every time somebody liked an action or commented or gave something to thumbs up and it would get ridiculously monotonous and I also find that I would then shut off to the notifications from that group, some of which could be really valuable. So I've saved those settings. All I do now as part of my daily method of operation in my social media marketing is when I come in here, I have a look for the notification numbers beside my most 
common groups, the ones I've elected to allow in my home view. You can actually click down and get more if you like. Where I can see that there have been actions occurring, I click in and I know to go and have a look at those group, read the most the the latest information and make sure I'm responding and participating in the group accordingly. I hope that helps you clean up your email inbox from Facebook group notifications and also to use the group function more efficiently because it is really powerful when you do it the right way to create networks within the greatest network in the world on Facebook. Have an awesome day.